What is going on guys and welcome back to another video in this Civilization 5 World AI only battle. If you have not seen episode 1, be sure to go check it out, it's the last video I uploaded. But at the end of that video, as you may have seen, the Huns and China declared war on Korea. Don't think much is going to come out of that, that's a very early war turn, 44 it was when that war was declared. It's insanely early. I don't think anything's going to come of it, but so we'll just sort of we'll look, keep checking back, but we'll mainly focus on the other civs expanding. As you saw, I don't think we realized this last video, but Argentina settled here and have pretty much cut off the Mayans and the Aztecs from South America. Obviously, the Inca will probably take that city at some point. I don't know, they should do. Lots of civs just entering the classical era. Persia's just picked up a pantheon. Earth, mother, one faith for each copper, iron, and salt resource. Presume they have some of those. Um, doesn't look like it. Maybe here. And also the Huns have just grabbed a third city down here. And they're, of course, also in that war. You have to bear in mind with the Koreans, which suggests maybe an alliance with the Chinese. Vietnam's settler is now heading towards India. Don't know why they went all the way up here and came back. Maybe they didn't find anywhere they're liked. And there we go. Two new wonders. Casimir, so Poland grabbing the Temple of Artemis. They are yet... Oh, no, they do have a second city, my bad. And Siam grabbed Stonehenge, which... Does that... I can't remember if I think that helps with culture or golden ages or one or the other. And America just settled New York in the middle of America. And I've got another settler up. A third city here from the Sioux. California settlers heading out somewhere. Strong looking Aztecs, lots of Jaguars. Um, and Korea has now began one plus production from fishing boats from their pantheon, God of the Sea. Do they have lots of fishing boats? They have one. I don't know. Everywhere's just starting to fill up. Morocco now grabbing a second city south of the Carthaginian cities. And Mali grabbing one over here towards this river. Don't know what the river's called. I know it's like. A pretty important river, I'm pretty sure, in Africa. And it has a name I should remember, but I don't. And there we go, cities we like to visit. Already cities with tourism. Oh yeah, Australia, their puppets come with tourism, I think. Melbourne and Brisbane, two there. And London has got two as well for the British. There we go, third city for Australia there. Yep, where was I going? A third city as well for the Congo, so they're pushing north as the Zulu push them further north. Um... And that, oh, look at that. The AI finally did it. They settled a canal city. Really good for Arabia, that. Access into the Mediterranean. It's going to make their life a lot easier if they want to move through. And a third city, by the way, for Indonesia. So, again, they're doing well on their island for once. I gave them the ability to sail early, and they've really used that because they are stranded on that island. How are Britain doing? Okay, Spain sort of pushing north, not taking much land in Spain, but pushing the French. You've got a big army here. See, the British took a city just off Paris. It was a brave move, but I respect them for it. Germany here with a big army as well. They're all building up quite large armies, which is interesting. Still, the Vietnamese have not settled. And China have a third city now as Mongolia sort of settles between the Chinese cities. That's going to annoy the Chinese. Definitely. Nothing new from the Soviet Union yet. I mean, they've got a third settler up though. And they could hopefully... They should try and take this city from the Huns once the Huns are distracted with something else. Be good to see. Anything else new I can see from the minimap? Boston. There we go. A third city by George Washington and he is in California he's getting cut off like there's all this land here California why are you over here but the Iroquois were doing well they had four cities as of the last video and they're continuing with that expansion by the look of it with another settler up oh, two more settlers wow that is insane it's five five cities already that is They'll probably lose them if they're not careful, though. Uh, Vietnam have now settled Saigon in the southern tip of India. There was another pantheon there. I completely missed it. Dang it. I didn't mean to click off. If they're only just getting a pantheon now, it's not going to matter too much. It's unlikely they will be founding their own religion. No more cities in Western Europe other than 
So, oh, England, set Britain sending another settler to Europe. I'm loving this Britain who is being really expansive. I find it super cool, especially because I live in England. But it's pretty cool to see Britain finally doing something. And hopefully they can beat out France to settling maybe up here because that would be really, really good for them. Germany are going ham on the units, by the way. It's insane. This map is filling up, by the way, so fast. Look at that mini-map. And there we go. Soviet Union, third city, sort of towards the north here, and the Ottomans have just grabbed the statue of Zeus. Not sure. I need to learn wonders more. I don't know what that does either, but I assume it's good they got it. Um, anything else going on? I'm just glancing at the mini-map to sort of check if any more cities have been settled. Doesn't look like it just yet. So France did just grab a third city here north of Orleans or Orlon is it Orly? I don't know but Britain may be going for Denmark which would be pretty cool to see and we have our first religion which Ethiopia as you'd expect as they always go for Eastern Orthodoxy and Egypt about to go for a third city so good for them Carthage I don't know what they're doing but they're gonna get in the way in the Zulu for a bit that's interesting and that's good enough Brazil and Argentina now friends everyone is being friendly in South America I don't like this like, we put more sieves in to have some more wars that wasn't just Brazil v Inca and we're not getting a second religion Arabia grabbing Islam in the Middle East so two religions so far out of I believe there'll be eight in this game 43 sieves and boom first big war where I think something could genuinely happen where they're splitting their units which is a stupid move from the AI China Korea must be going, ha ha ha, you tried to attack us, well look at you now. Mongolia, I don't know if they'll be able, they've got these archers, maybe they'll be able to do some damage here, I don't know. But so far, out of the eight religions, two of them very close to each other. And if only one Civ, by the way, San Francisco and Florida, what, I don't know what California's doing, but it's not working. But if there's only one, say, religion founded in the Americas, that religion is going to have a huge advantage over the whole world and there we go a third city grabbing that wonder and possibly two wonders if they're lucky for Chile which is something they could really do with Brazil also looking for a third city in the middle of the Amazon by the look of it which is leaving Argentina running out of land and if Australia still got three cities yes they have New Zealand I don't know what they're doing so we'll just ignore them just ignore them there is a massive French army here Rome could really get caught out here if they're not careful because Germany, France and Greece every Civ so many Civs have just got huge armies look at Assyria, the Ottomans as well the Huns is sort of spread out a bit wow and Mon let wow they dropped Shanghai very quickly they lost a lot of units but it's been worthwhile and we could see the first city of this campaign fall to Mongolia I mean, Mongolia are always good in these early game stages. They are one thing to admit, they got no un melee units here. It's a big thing to bear in mind. Yep, no melee units. And they are still splitting their attacks with Beijing. But don't bear in mind, Korea is also still at war with China because China declared war on Korea. So maybe Korea could come in and sneak in and help out. And Vietnam did settle, just settled a third city. Just south of Shanghai, north of the Siam, and India with the third city in sort of the Himalayas. And Indonesia grabbing the Great Lighthouse, which is something they needed, being in the sea so much. And England, yep, they just grabbed sort of Denmark, Leeds now settled. They're doing really well, Britain, and there we go. First city has dropped. Mongolia have captured Shanghai. What an interesting and quick start. 64 turns is all it took for Mongolia. But I don't think they're going to be the most powerful sieve in this campaign. I think we're looking at one definite contender for a strong sieve, and that is the Iroquois. Seven. No, six. My bad. Seven. Six. Damn it. <laughs> six cities in Canada, eastern Canada. And I've got another settler on the go, ready. Poland forward settling Moscow. Wow. Maybe the Soviet Union will attack Poland. That'd be interesting. And the America or USA with a fourth settler up now, which they need. They are shielded. They just need to worry about the Iroquois, which they are not defended well. Because the Sioux, uh, 
at least it's not the Shoshone, but the Aztecs could be a real threat to all of America here. Terracotta army for the Inca, which means their forces, their military is now very strong and could probably take on anyone in South America. Come on, Argentina, we've had one. Arabia gave us the Suez Canal. You've got to give us the Panama Canal. And our third religion, the Sioux. We've got Protestantism, so there we go. Like I said, if there's only one religion in America, it's going to be dominant. And the Sioux have grabbed it in a very central location. And there we go, peace has come around. Mongolia, eh, maybe they could have taken that. And Japan has just founded a religion. That isn't going to spread too far, and China's also peaced out with Korea. But there we go, China lost one city, gave Mongolia a lot of strength there. And there we go, more settling. From the Huns splitting Persia and Leningrad of the Soviet Union. And the Soviet Union pushing more towards Scandinavia and Novgorod territory or Finland. Yeah, Finland. Um, any more from Germany? Germany and Greece aren't doing much, but they both look like they're about to have a war. <laughs> but I mean, there's so much land here to settle. I don't know why they'd either go to war. It's not in either of them's best interests. Argentina, please settle there. No! <laughs> We're not going to get a canal city. Wow. And again, the Mayans. Again, a huge army from the Mayans. I'm not sure why the Civs are being so aggressive. It's incredible. I know the aggressive and expansive mod does not do this usually. And there we go. A bit more of an American border, although Philadelphia will be very difficult to take with this lake here. And there we go. The Sioux and the Iroquois attacking the USA unlikely team there in the practice test run of this series it was actually the other way around America and Iroquois teamed up on the Sioux but that's gonna be interesting because it's pretty much all surrounding America but I mean could you imagine if America called in the Shoshone or something got an ally there that'd be interesting who knows and the Iroquois have just grabbed Montreal their seventh city in North America if they can hold on to all this they would definitely be strong Although the Shoshone, I think, may be eyeing up the Sioux or the Shoshone. Maybe not both of them. So, North America getting very interesting right now. And where is the Soviet Union settler? Okay, it is now heading east. Whoa, big war in Europe. Germany and Greece may be about to get involved, but France v. Rome. If this city falls to France, then I think France can be a very strong Civ in Europe. I mean, they've had a good start. All the European Civs having great starts. I mean, Germany and Greece, I don't know what they're doing. They're just sort of wandering their armies around. But if France can take this, it will be very, very big for them. And it, Britain will have to be worried because Birmingham is completely undefended. And Leeds is also completely undefended. And London is undefended as well. Persia, new religion in the Middle East. Zoroastrianism? I don't know. I feel that's that. Hanging, anyway, Hanging Gardens by Ethiopia. They need that, and there we go, another city for the Congo, which they needed. But it looks like the Zulu are using this city to spearhead an attack on the Congo capital, which will not be good for them. And Argentina didn't do it. No canal city. I don't know why they've settled all the way up here when their capital's down it. Whoa. Okay, more wars breaking out. So we do need to quickly go look. America could be about to lose three cities so we need to keep an eye Washington coming under attack I don't know if they'll be able to do it it looks like they definitely could do it the Sioux should be able to take some cities as well wow and Brazil have settled a third city but big war first one Mayans the Argentinians this is not gonna end well for Argentina that is a huge Mayan army but at the same time it's not gonna end well for the Mayans there's a lake here the city's not gonna fall to the Mayans until better units come around. The Congo are here to stop the Zulu. Who have a huge army. In the middle of Africa. So Ethiopia and the Songhai. Declare war on them. You know what. That That's annoying. Like. Did they not realise the Zulu are coming. Look at this army. Like the Congo have just got a few. R randomly placed cities. Across Central Africa. I don't know what they're doing. What are Carthage doing? I don't know. God damn it, Carthage. Egypt heading for a fourth city. Maybe they will be strong. Who knows? Let's watch the big war right now. So this turn we should see Boston drop to the Sioux. Although America's turn processed first. 
and already has processed the Iroquois. Didn't make much more advanced, so the Sioux, being a mod, do go last, or one of the last sieves. But if they could grab Boston and New York, that would be a huge, huge boost for them in the middle of America here. Although they are vulnerable. There we go. The Sioux did grab Boston, which cuts America even more off from other sieves, such as the Shoshone. And here we go. People who like shiny things the most is the money. There's lots of sieves with no money. Who's the richest? Attila, 1,000. Okay, well, 1,000 gold for Attila. He's doing something right over there. Japan may soon be head getting a tile in Korea. Boom, but another war in Europe. Don't forget this war here either. Lots of wars breaking out all of a sudden. The Ottomans just declared war on Poland. So maybe we'll see Krakow fall to the Ottomans if they can get their units round right. And then the Ottomans also declared war on the Soviet Union alongside Mongolia. I don't think the Mongolians will send that many units over. So I think the Soviet Union are pretty safe. Also, Poland will be fighting the Ottomans as well. So unlikely having to come in. And the Aztecs got another religion. Which is probably going to spread through South America. Because there's no religions here. No, there's not. Okay, so no religions there. What are New Zealand doing? Okay, we're just ignoring them. We're ignoring New Zealand. They're not there. They're doing so badly. But Australia are doing well. We'll sort of keep an eye on them until... Uh, deep sea sailing it's not the most important thing to focus on Persian cut get cut got cut off and there we go the shisha well the Sioux <laughs> just took New York crushing America but now the Iroquois and the Shoshone have declared war on the Sioux that's a backstabbing move there from the Iroquois really really back and there we go China grabbed the Great Wall to keep out the Mongolians some things just can't be changed they always have to happen true to life this is one of them China getting the Great Wall of China good for China and what where is Korea sending oh I thought it was in the sea oh and we are missing this we there's so many wars going on I didn't expect it turn 77 Congo just lost Kavanga to the Ethiopians which is good for Ethiopia they will normally tend to be sort of like able to hold off the Zulu for a while Okay, let's now turn to here, although I'm pretty sure the Sioux could be in trouble, and we need to check France are not making the best progress yet. They should take this city in the next two turns. Let's head back here and see well, the Songhai didn't take it this turn again, oh, but should take it next turn. The Mayans are very much struggling here, and Argentina built some units as well. This could go badly, so let's go to America again, and there we go, the Shoshone attacking the Sioux's capital Argentina just pieced out with the Mayans very quickly and built the Parthenon so that's another good news for them Germany not settling still in Greece as well I don't know what's going on there so first up we need to keep an eye on all three the Ottomans are not attacking Krakow properly just yet it didn't fall the, sh the Songhai messed up France haven't taken it either yet, so let's go over here and watch. Okay, Colossus again, that's going to be helpful for Indonesia. The Shoshone didn't take it this turn, they should be able to next turn. The Iroquois have to be careful, they do not have many units left. Obviously they're still going for Washington, it's not working. So this turn, Songhai just took Kabasa. So the Congo are falling, which at least means the other civs will be a bit stronger. Carthage, big army here. Um, Any more? Spain have just settled on the west, or Portugal, I guess you'd say. <laughs> France are still yet to do it. And there we go, the Shoshone taking the Sioux capital very early. The first civ to lose their capital is the Sioux. But, I mean, they've got four cities. If they can hold on to them, you know, they'll grow. And Assyria just declared war on... Wow. Okay, I want to see... I think Arabia... Look at their units. I think they're just giving up and running away. I think Assyria could take this in two, one to two turns. Very quickly. I think this will be probably a very quick fall. Oh, no, they're sort of fighting the units first, which I guess is a smart decision, realistically. Rome's now got units, but Germany's blocking them off. It's a real, real dick move from Germany. Cantho is now in So this land's filling up rapidly. 
where usually it stays empty for ages, and Russia and Mongolia pick it off. Persia now heading up. You've got Vietnam here, China here. Mongolia aren't going over towards the Soviet Union. It's going to give them time to build up some strength as Poland defends. But that, guys, is me for this video. If you have enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like and maybe even subscribe if you found it that interesting and fun. I hope you have. And obviously be sure to comment all your opinions, feedback, and that stuff. And I'll hopefully see you in the next one.